You want to know how to flatten out the chance of a game's survival before it even drops? Whatever game you had in mind, this is probably worse. This is Veiled Experts, a third-person tactical shooter that was literally the most my most anticipated shooter game. I'm not going to give you the entire rundown of it, but it more or less combines Rainbow Six, PUBG, and Rogue Company just in different ways into some Turge and Destroy type beat. And it dropped a few months ago this year only for the player base to, at least in North America, it's... I think it is alive and well over on the Korean servers, but over here, it just doesn't really exist. And if you've never heard of the Veiled Experts until right now, that's not really surprising. That's really one of the issues with it. There's really three issues with the just whole rollout of this game and why it just fell off a cliff. It's like I said, probably never heard of it. I mean, they had a, their first beta in July of 2022. Like I said, it dropped a few months ago, so you can kind of see where the problem starts with this because after that beta the game basically went dark for like a long ass time a year later they had a partner role game which i was a part of and i guess they were just expecting me and the other partners to be enough to push the game out we weren't but that was what seemed like was the whole plan and i did my part you type in veiled experts on tiktok i'm the man that's gonna pop up like six times the second issue is console support and this is really the only thing i could think that could possibly save the game just because how many people play on console so if they were to drop it there get a good like player count burst from it and maybe enough people would like it to like maintain it i think it could you know maybe it's not gonna blow up the game's just not gonna do that but maybe it could have like a playable or a queuable amount of people so you don't have to wait the 10 to 20 minutes it can be right now and at first i was like that's a lot of buttons though like with this game you got third person ads you got first person ads you got leaning that works in both of those adsing and just when you're hip firing then you got abilities and you got grenades and stuff and then i was like wait people play siege on controller all the time it'll be fine so they gotta do console support they want the game to have a revival anywhere else besides korea where it's currently popping because like if they're gonna keep updating the game i'm assuming that's gonna be a thing and the last thing is just how the game looks it looks very generic and that was a lot of people's complaint i don't really care about that at all because the gameplay of it that's why i wanted the game to be out and like alive so much but it does look very generic if you just see like a random ad about it, it really wouldn't catch your eye and it didn't catch anybody's eye only reason it caught mine because i was watching a stream from that 2022 beta of shroud and his team playing together them being who they are really good at the game I'm like oh it actually looks pretty fun they got a beta might as well try it out tried it i was like all right this game's actually way better than it looks like it doesn't look like much but it plays really fucking good but with visuals like that me and like i said the other partners were not enough to advertise it we all dropped videos i was even on their site for a little while i checked they took me down without saying a word and obviously not everybody liked it the complaint i saw the most which was just weird to me was the recoil like not every game has recoil like cod and apex but like yes you're gonna have to pull down on that mouse pull down on that joystick sometimes and the gun would eat you know what i'm saying because yeah some of the guns got a strong ass kick but that's because they hit hella hard the ones that don't hit as hard they're not gonna have as much recoil easier to control easier to hit shots with type of thing i just never saw it as a big issue i use the guns with the highest recoil in the game like the scar ak some of the lmgs that high re recoil i'm like i don't know how this is a complaint this is the one time where i can it, it is a skill issue. As much as I hate that phrase, because it takes like it, it is a skill issue. You can learn recoil control. I promise. I don't do aim labs and none of that. I just get on the game and play it. But yeah, this game is cooked. But Nexon, who is like the publisher of this game, they got two other games they're publishing: the Finals and the First Ascendant. The First Ascendant is like a third-person looter shooter. It's cool. I mean, I think it's one of the better ones. I liked it better than I think it was called Synced. I liked it a lot better than that. Like I actually played it for more than like 15 minutes. But the finals also had a beta. It had a lot more like hype behind it and just people enjoying it. So I'm like hoping that is the one that stays alive. If it's gotta be one or the other, hopefully it's both. But if it's one or the other, give me the finals, please. Do not do the same thing. We have to learn from our mistakes. And if y'all got another partner program, hey man. I'm just saying. Most people who knew about Veiled on TikTok, they knew because of me. So let me in. Cut the check, man. Just cut the check. Because the finals next to find, those are my two. I need those to drop, like, with no, not no issue, but like, I need them to come out and be stable. You know what I'm saying? Hyenas was the third one. They knocked that one off. It's done. It's cooked. They said we're, there, we're just shutting it down. I don't know why the beta, I thought the beta went pretty good, but I guess Sega like, wasn't seeing it. They wasn't feeling it. Anyways, what's a game that you like that just got knocked off the face of the earth for whatever reason? Let me know in the comments if it's Hyenas too. We all feel the pain man let me know in the comments leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel do all the youtube shit like you, you know what it is and if you missed my last video about activision's trap the duty calling and things of those natures things of those things of that nature uh, it's right there go ahead and watch that